Hey guys, I'm Ari, and in this video from the MC Garage, it's wet clutch versus dry clutch. If you've ever been stopped at a light and heard a sport bike clattering away like it was going to explode, then you're familiar with the iconic sound of a dry clutch. Now, most of the bikes on the road, however, have wet clutches. So what's the difference and why would a manufacturer or a rider choose one over the other? To kick things off, let's talk about wet clutches. They're referred to as wet because they are bathed in engine oil. The oil's primary purpose is to cool the clutch pack. And because of this cooling effect, wet clutches can take a lot of abuse. We're talking about the type of stuff that you might dish out in stop and go traffic. Wet clutches tend to offer a nice wide engagement threshold that makes them pretty easy to use. They also last a long time and they tend to be quite a bit quieter than dry clutches. Also, did I mention they can take a lot of abuse? That's a great characteristic, especially if you're just learning how to ride or you just don't want to replace your clutch every 10,000 miles. On the flip side, wet clutches do make your engine oil dirty faster since all the dust that's created as the clutch wears stays inside the engine. Thankfully, the oil filter takes care of that. Also, wet clutches are just a little bit messier to work on. Additionally, because the clutch is spinning in oil, there's actually a little bit of fluid drag that saps some of the engine's power. Avoiding that fluid drag is the number one benefit to a dry clutch. Dry clutches, as you might have guessed already, are not bathed in oil. They are sealed off from the rest of the crankcase. That means less fluid drag and more horsepower going to the rear wheel, as well as cleaner oil. But it also means less cooling for the clutch pack. Without oil to cool things and damp engagement, dry clutches are gonna act up if you hammer on them. Plus, they tend to be a little bit grabby and more difficult to modulate. Dry clutches also don't last that long and they are a lot noisier, especially if you run an open clutch cover like a lot of guys do to help keep the clutch pack cool. Dry clutches are easier to work on since you don't have to deal with any oil, plus they look and sound awesome. That is the legendary tambourine-like rattle of a Ducati dry clutch. I think it sounds fantastic, but it's because of all that noise that the dry clutch has pretty much gone extinct. As noise regulations get stricter and stricter, every decibel counts. And switching to a quieter, wet clutch means there's more noise in the budget for other things, like a, a sweeter sounding exhaust. Two places you are still gonna see dry clutches are on Moto Guzzi's and in Moto GP. Moto Guzzi still uses dry clutches because they're pretty much stuck in the Stone Age. And you see them in Moto GP because in racing, every little advantage counts. And as I pointed out before, a dry clutch puts less drag on the engine. All right, that's it for my summary of the wet versus dry clutch debate. I'd like to thank Ryan Hain for suggesting this topic. Thank you, Ryan. And of course, you can suggest a topic of your own. Just leave it in the comments section below. That's it for this video. We'll see you next time.